play some of this, he, Jamie. He, he, had a, he had a vocabulary, he understood grammar, and he is one of the, only, I think, the only animal who asked an existential question, and he actually did it right before he died. If I remember correctly, like, he wasn't just saying, give me food. He could say, like, tomorrow I want this food. He could be, Whoa. And, but he, the existential question he asked was, what's happening and where am I going? Which is, a, and he had never asked those questions before. They were brand new, formulated questions that he asked very shortly before he passed. And so wow. th there, there's a lot of, now here's the other cool part. He's got a bird brain. He has a tiny little brain, and yet it has all that capacity. You've probably heard of people who have lost huge chunks of their brain and they reprogram and they seem to get by. Parrots like Alex suggest that you can get by with very little brain if it's oriented correctly. So imagine if I took a species like an African gray and I modified certain elements of genetic code to cause its brain to be somewhat larger, somewhat more glucose consuming, so it has more energy, and then also to have more folds. They're very smooth brain. What if I could have, we, we know that folded brain tissue and the high density that it creates on the neuronal surface is very good for intelligence. Like, could you make an African gray that is able to have a normal human level conversation. I think I think it's actually very close to that. 